Hey everyone and welcome to Camper Connect with Myers RV. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be talking about the Grand Design Transcend Explore 265BH. Let's get started. So Transcend Explorer is considered the entry level series from Grand Design. This aluminum sided double axle trailer series is meant to get your family out camping on the road in a cost effective way. So up front here, we're looking at a very large front pass-through storage compartment. There are magnetic latches at the top on either side. Again, a lot of space in here. Uh, there's a lot to work with. There are two motion sensing lights, one on either side of the entryway. And then over here, we have the docking station from Grand Design that has a lot of your hookups conveniently located in one location with a nice little pass-through down here so that you can have your hatch shut and have your hoses and connections going up into the camper at the same time. On the main side of the camper, you have two entry doors with aluminum trifold steps, oversized grab handles at each door. You have a very large awning, outdoor speakers, outdoor TV hookup, and there's a liquid propane quick connect close to the front door. So the first thing I wanna know inside this camper is accessibility while on the road. Pretty much everything in this camper is accessible when the slide is shut. I have access to all of the beds, all of the seating space, the counter space in the kitchen, the bathroom because of both doors. Really the only thing I can't get to with the slide fully shut is the refrigerator. So up at the front here, I'm in a pretty good sized bedroom. We have a standard size queen bed in here. There's storage above and below to end to either side of the bed. You have again, your exit door from the bedroom in case someone's in the bathroom and you wanna get out to the main living area. And then you have a big pocket door leading into a very spacious bathroom. So I love the large pass-through bathroom design on this camper. It allows the family to access it when needed and you can shut that door and have privacy for the parents if you want that too. Uh, there's a lot of space in here. I like how much counter space you have. There's a lot of storage for towels and whatever you want to put there. The toilet's in a good location. And then as I step into the shower over here, I have a lot of space in here as well. I absolutely love how big some of the kitchens are on these Grand Design campers. There is a ton of counter space in here. There is a lot of storage above and below. I like that the TV uh, for the entertainment center is up out of the way off the counter space. I like the big one piece aluminum sink here with a rotating pull out faucet. And on this side, we have our all electric 12 volt refrigerator and freezer, which for 2021 is accompanied by a solar panel on the roof of every Transcend Explorer. Right across from the kitchen, I'm sitting in the standard U-shaped dinette on this coach. The other option in place of this is a theater dinette. Moving on to the back of the camper, I'm sitting right now on a great jackknife sofa. I like that the entertainment center on this unit features a TV on a full swing out arm so that if the family wants to sit here and watch TV, they can do so easily. Finally, at the back here, we have the bunk beds. Um, I like that they use an open concept bunk space on this camper. It really opens up the living space in here and it makes it inclusive. Maybe the kids want to lay on the bunks and watch TV while they're hanging out inside on a rainy day. Who knows? You have double over double bunks. You have privacy curtains and lights for each bunk. You have opening windows for each bunk, which is really great. And then I like how they stick the outlet and the USB ports in a place that can be accessed from either bed. Over on this side, we have a great little storage and step space. You have two carpeted steps leading up to the upper bunk. There are nice little hangers right here for the kids to put their stuff. You have storage drawers under the steps, which I think is a great use of space, as well as a hanging closet and two more cubbies. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button on our YouTube page. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this or on any of the other RV topics we cover, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can also find us on social media and of course on the Myers RV website. Thanks again for watching and until next time, happy camping.